But here they are. Alright. Olimar versus Ness. Uh, not, not Ness here. Lucas here. In the top eight, Tana City here, definitely a bigger stage for these two to play with. These two share similar defensive playstyles here, so this is good for both of them, I assume. But of, of, of course, Tana City is going to help Olimar's survivability here since he's so light. Right now, he's going to be harassed off stage here. And he has no Pikmin. Oh, never mind, he has two. Gonna F smash him right there. And right now this this lineup here is quite good for Army Ali here. And what right to say that he makes it even better, picks up a purple to play with. Oh goodness. Yep, he's looking for that up smash. Army Ali really wants that up smash there. Comes out quite fast there and he was a he has a shit ton of knockback there, but Lucas's recovery is quite bad there, so Army only managed to find a stock with a PK fire there. Gonna tie it back up there. Unlike Ness's PK fire, Lucas's PK fire just has one hit instead of Ness's multi hit. So Lucas's PK fire actually has knockback there, which is why Army only lost that stock there. Now Army only is gonna assume the position of less trapping once again here of course with that with these purples here so strong oh goodness air dodges right through the pk freeze there nearly got hit oh goodness arm rally threw both his purples off stage and now they're just both gone PK freezes, it has been in disadvantage for quite a bit. Okay, another back of Busila there. It's not a purple, but it's still strong. Goodness. Now all of us gonna find himself off stage with no Pikmin. Gonna have to give himself space to pluck where she does. Finally, get, if he gets some sort of off fresh here or some grab here, this gonna lead to a lot of percent. Oh, there's a grab there. And now he's at 64. Yep, this is very quickly snowballing for PK Freeze right here. Gonna have to dodge the PK Freeze. Air dodges, but accidentally does so on stage. And that's gonna be easy F smash there to clobber army all into the blast zone. Last stock here. PK Freeze can make this back, but at the same time, army all has been so commanding this entire set. Afro barely killing there. This is gonna kill, right? Yay! Yep, that's definitely gonna take it there. Armiali with quite the dominant game oh, one there. Wins. To start off the set. I don't think we're gonna see any swaps from these two, no matter what happens in the set. These two are devoted character specialists right here. Ready? And yeah, it's just gonna be a switcher stage and we're gonna go right back into game two. Alright, smash who it is then. Now, Town City was a bigger stage. Now we're gonna see one of the one of the most smallest stage here, stages here in our competitive rule set. Lucas, I guess um, Pika Free just wants to close this gap to Army Ali, so that he can't just throw out all these Pikmin here. Oh my goodness, is he gonna make it back? He's gonna tech though. Okay, he, he does make it back there, but 
not without taking a lot of percent here. 69% a lot. Um, and Unreal is only at 49, so... Yep, he needs to use that Nair to get all this Pikmin off of him, otherwise he's going to take a lot of percent. Gonna, gonna set up the PK freeze again, but this time it's not gonna connect there. Okay, nice evasion from Armiali there. He only has one Pikmin though, he has to. Okay, not gonna up for just yet. Oh, he is? I thought he didn't, I thought he wouldn't want to steal that, but okay. Goes with Arbor anyway. Harry's the back here, and the dash tag is going to do it there. Armiali finding no, no place to escape from PK freeze's approach. There. That's gonna be first stock. Are we only uh Pika Freeze enjoying a lead here for the first time in this set? Oh goodness, the bat's gonna murder though. I didn't actually expect that to kill, but the down is gonna kill there. I think that was a down. And now Armiali has another broken lineup. Two purples, one red here. Oh goodness, catches the high recovery. This is a lot of percent here. Armiali is being trapped in disadvantage with no Pikmin. He's finally makes his way back down, but the damage has already been done 108%. Reflex the Pikmin. Oh goodness. Gonna roll there, you can't roll there. PK Freeze will always be there to punish you for now. Yeah, PK Freeze is just commanding space right now. When Army Ali wants to find space to zone PK Freeze out, PK Freeze is just going in and um, knowing where Army Ali wants to go here. Oh goodness, is this a stock? No, he doesn't manage to edge guard him. Tries for the PK freeze again, but unable to get it this time. PK freeze, of course, very slow to start up, very slow to hit there, so not unexpected by any means. Nice PK fire to. Get Army Ollie off of him here. Another one there. These PK Freezes aren't, aren't having a very high hit rates here. But he's gonna go for them nevertheless when Army Ollie's off stage. That nearly connected there. Up throw? Yes, that's definitely going to murder, especially on Smashville. And now we're gonna see. Um, last talk, a uh, last talk scenario here, Army Ollie, but this time Army Ollie is the one who has a lot of percent on this last talk while PK3 is the one sitting at a comfy 3%. PK, um, Army Ollie needs some kind of combo to bring it back here, some kind of up smash or grab or some sort of thing, otherwise he's not going to find himself closing this gap by any means. Oh goodness, that PK Fire going to send him way off stage, you don't want to be off stage, there's all of them are here. Okay, up smash doesn't get anything off of it, chooses to pluck it from instead. Yep, uh, PK Freeze unable to close out this last stock here. Just as I say that, F Tilt is going to do it there. Armioli nearly mounting a comeback there, but PK Freeze is going to take it. If Army Ollie had made that comeback here, we would have seen a very different scenario here. But right now it's 1-1. One, one. one game each. So... Third game here. This will not be the last game of the set here because the set is best of five. So. FD, uh, a stage that Olimar is made are quite strong on. So 
I'm not surprised to see this stage by any means here. PK Free is doing a great job of killing uh, Army Ollie's Pikmin here so that he constantly has to change his, change his setup here and there. Okay, nice job, Lap. Where's he gonna get it? Yeah, just a raw forward smash, but that's still a lot of percent. Goodness, reads the double jump there. He usually just went for PK freezes when Army Ollie was off stage, but going for something a bit uh, rebased there, and that time his efforts paid off. Oh, another PK freeze there. Oh, goodness. In 10 seconds, Army Ollie is at 70. No Pikmin to cover his landing there. That's going to be the stock. PK Freeze is up 3 stocks to 1 on Army Ollie right now. Okay, finally finds the back here. But the damage has been done there. That that first stock was beautiful from PK Freeze. We're gonna, we're gonna play it slow again. Why not? You have to lead. You you can you now have to force Army Ali to approach you. And you can just sit back and whiff punish whatever he does now. Okay, nice. You get thunder. Oh my god, that killed. <laughs> Why did that kill? Lucas does that really kill that early? If you connect all the hits of it. Wow, PK3 is on the verge of going to winner's finals here. If he takes one more game, it's over. It's just that. <laughs> Misspelled semis? Oh, okay, my bad. Uh. There you go. Army only needs to do something here if he wants to make it back. Right now it isn't looking too good for Ready? them. For right now it isn't looking too good for him. He won game one, but then uh, PK Freeze bring it back with two dominant games here. Especially in a third game. Three, two, one, go! Let's see what kind of comeback he can mount against PK Freeze here. But first, he needs to find space to set up his Pikmin and whatnot, and PK Freeze is not allowing him that kind of luxury. He's gonna hit by all these PK Freezes. The L smash there gonna cover the high recovery there. Unfortunate for Army Oli, PK Freeze only taking 5% of his first stock here. These PK Freeze are commanding so much space for Army Oli here. For, from Army Oli here. Finally gets a good lineup here. Maybe this can be what uh, Army Ali needs to bring it back here. Tries to go for the forward air, but oh, smart usage of the purple to send him off stage and gets it, gives him the dunk for good measure. All right, Let's see. Looking a bit rough here. But now Army Ali is a bit closer than he was in games 2 and 3 here. And this is pretty good considering um, uh, he was a full stock down when this game started. And now it's pretty even here. PK Freeze making expert use of that PK Freeze. Two command space here. Oh goodness. I feel like Pika Fish could just blow up Army Ollie's stock at any moment here. Good 
goodness, reads the spot there. That's going to be a down smash. Wow. That's another, that's a stock for Armiali here. He was down a full stock and now he's made it back here. He might just win this fourth game to bring it to game five here. Oh, back throw? Is that gonna kill? No. Armiali managed to hold on for Fear Life, flinging all the Pikmin at Armiali at PK Freeze here. Yep, that's going to do it, that's going to do it. PK Free is now finding himself behind. Definitely not where he wants to be when he wants to see all of the set. Goodness, yes, the PK Free is done too close to Army All there, and Army All is going to seal that chance to take the game there. They're both kind of trading games now at this point. Now this set is nearly over, game five is on the way here for the first set of our top eight. Game five, let's see who will be able to take it this time. These sometimes PK Freeze just dominates the game, but sometimes Army Ali is the one that dominantly wins over PK Freeze, so who knows? But we're gonna see the same characters Three, again, two, of course. One, All of our versus Lucas here. Game five it is here. Sticking on battlefield here. Yep, I think these Pikmin are, are a great harassing tool for PK for uh, for Army All here, but at the same time the But at the same time PK Freeze is getting in when Army Ali doesn't expect it to, so Despite the despite these two sharing defensive playstyles here, this this set is actually going on pretty quickly here. For uh, 40 seconds in and PK Freeze is at kill percent here. Oh my goodness, okay. Force my stock into it just yet, but the next one will add ledge at least. Goodness. A nice PK Thunder usage here. Trying to use the PK Rocket there, but it's actually going to get punished by Army Ali for trying. Yep, another two purples and a red here. He can really abuse his lineup here. But not if PK Freeze manages to take the stock. Even it up. Nice down air there, Ash Shield. Most all of our players don't think about down air, Ash Shield, but down air, Ash Shield is pretty not, not a bad option. Army Ali is blowing up PK Freeze right now. Okay, first stock is finally taken for PK Freeze. But PK Freeze now needs to find out how to approach Army Ali in the face of all these Pikmin here. Dealing so much damage and controlling so much space here. PK Freeze looked dominant in games 2 and 3, but now this is looking completely uh, like a completely different story. Use the PK Freeze again, but this time not gonna connect as efficiently as it used to here. Yep, I'm only gonna whip it, but miss it by Fred. Gonna murder all that Pikmin with the down smash. Oh my goodness. This is looking very commanding. Okay, PK Freeze finally makes it back after Army Ali's less trapping range here. Yep, that S smash isn't gonna work. If you charge it like that, Army Ali can just know that you're trying to punish neutral Gale there. He's gonna roll past it there. 
that's a dominant game five. That's a dominant game five there. And Army Ollie will be the one to move on to winners finals.